All right, so this is Ur. This is a puzzle platformer. Let's go ahead and do this. Mm, I don't know, pick a random level here. So I like how, I like the art style of this game. It's pretty uh, simple, but clean and stuff. So as you can see right off the bat, your character has this ability to create a clone copy, but uh, as you see that white circle outline around it, it can only be out there for that much time before it disappears. Now, um, your clone copy can uh, fall off cliffs and you can still continue the level. If you fall off a cliff, then you have to restart the screen. Um, I don't think, I can't think of too many instances where I felt like uh, a screen was too long to restart. I mean, I might have seen a few levels where it was like, oh man, I really hope I don't die here because I'm gonna lose my progress of this long screen, but um, I don't think that happened. Let me go a different level. It's good that there's a level select after being the game because there are hidden... So I have all the achievements in this game except one. And that is that there is a... There's these hidden like cogwheel things throughout the game. I think there's only five of them and I got like two or three. And so I just have to go find a guide and find those last few cogs, but that's all it does. It doesn't do anything in the game when you find them all, so that's kind of disappointing. Uh, there's a post by the creator in the Steam forums about how he thought, oh, maybe I'll do something with the cogs for like an extra ending, but uh, he thought, oh, maybe that'll be better for a sequel. But... So basically, he scrapped the idea. So that's kind of disappointing. Man. Alright, well, this is the first boss. So, I, I do like this game, and I'll get into more of the positives in a sec, but, um, is this a story bit? Oh, I thought I was going to fight the boss. Or did I just pass the boss? Oh yeah. So, oh yeah, I might as well show this. So this is a story segment right here, and there's no audio. A lot of the... I guess cutscenes, if you want to call them that, they uh, they lack um, environmental sound effects. So right now, what you're hearing, if you can hear it, is is just the background music. Um, this actually is a story bit going on right now, and now I can move. So there is a story to this game, and. Uh, I gotta say, I thought it was gonna go somewhere, and it didn't end up going there. It just kind of ends how you expect it to end. Um, I was hoping for an extra twist, because I saw, I saw a seed planted for how they could do it, but it didn't end up happening. And it has to do with dialogue, and how it was, how one character was uh, dealt with. I thought maybe something similar would happen to you, but it didn't, so... Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So yeah, you have to avoid spikes and stuff. These, uh, sort of, um... These, uh, little rising things are part of the levels. I don't know what to call them, tractor beams, but they just lift you up. Or pull you down. Well, I guess they're all kind of lift up, technically. But there are some segments in, in levels where um, you flip the gravity, of course. Because a lot of these games do that. But not that that's bad. Um, the creator himself said about his own game, like, uh, Hey, check this out. You don't have to come up with something that's completely original. You just have to do it really well. And for the most part, I agree with that. Um, these uh, robots... Uh, will kill you, of course. These little red dots that I pick up just extend the amount of time that my clone can be out by itself. 
Um, you interact with things by pressing down on the uh, control stick or control pad or whatever. Yeah, I can use control stick or control pad to control. Uh, of course, start button is uh, your menu. You've got a jump button and your clone button. And that's pretty much it. Simple controls. Good stuff. Kill that robot. Oh yeah. Uh, we might come up to it here soon. So I'll just go ahead. Oh yeah. So you cannot create a clone when you're in the air. Even if you're floating on this thing. You have to be grounded to create your clone. So that is part... Uh... I want to say that's part of the puzzle solving, but I'm sure it's more of a necessity because I couldn't, I can't really think of an instance where it, being able to create a clone at any time would break the game or anything, but. So I'm going to skip to this dialogue. Um, if you really want to read it, you can slow down the video, I guess, but I don't want to spoil stuff. So. Um, yeah, all the dialogue boxes have talking. Oh, darn. Well, there's another scene where you're talking to this guy. I think it's that same guy. And, you know, the dialogue box has all this, uh, you know, beep, 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 as he's talking. And then he, like, pulls a switch or something, and there's no sound effect. So, I don't know. This game, it feels like there's a lot of missed opportunities in this game. Or maybe unfinished, I would even say. It, or lack of polish would probably be better to say. It is a finished game. It just lacks polish. So where the creator said, you know, you just have to do something really well. You don't have to do something original. You just do it really well. I agree in principle. <laughs> um, mechanically, this game is fine. It's just the presentation. I guess not even... The presentation, I like the color schemes and stuff. Um, I want this guy to shoot me so that he'll... Uh, Get rid of those blocks for me. His, uh, his laser blast goes the entire distance of the screen. And he won't fire until you enter his little uh, light area. You see he's got like a flashlight in front of him. Once you enter that area, he'll shoot. Oh yes, yeah, so here's an example I want to show. Some of these puzzle rooms can be unsolvable if you mess up. So right now, I cannot finish this level. There is no way to destroy those blocks at the bottom there. So basically, I have to kill myself or restart. Oh yeah, the select button on the controller will restart the level for you. What I have to do is not push that button, but let one block get destroyed, then drop it to destroy that, so then I can walk across. Um, I'm not sure if I would call that bad design. It's just... I don't know, it's just something to be aware of, really is that you can mess up a level, but there is, of course, a restart button if you mess up. And it I don't think it happened too often. Like, that was the first instance I remember it happening. So, that one stuck in my mind. But, oof, missed that. But, um, maybe there was maybe one or two other times when I messed up a level and couldn't finish it. Um, but yeah, so it's not often that it happens. In fact, this is another room, actually, now that I think about it. Or maybe it's not. Never mind. I think I just restarted for nothing. What I need to do is free this robot down here so he can destroy that last block for me. And if I'm not confident I can make a, a jump or time something so I don't get killed, I use my clone, because my clone's disposable. So I just let him shoot. There we go. Now I can go to the next screen. So yeah, uh... I think this is the boss, yeah. So let me show off the boss here. I want to point out that, um... I have a problem with the boss designs. Not a huge problem, just kind of like a, um... Something I would have tweaked if I were finishing, if I were trying to polish this game up. So this first boss is very easy. It does good, do a good job of teaching you, hey, your clone... Ah, oh, I can't believe I screwed that up. So your clone takes, um, takes the interest of enemies more than you do. 
so I'm gonna wait for him to start charging stuff before I issue my clone out. Basically, you have to get him to reflect that ball back into his face and uh, distract distract the lasers with your clone. Now, this boss only takes three hits. This is a very easy and very quick boss, and I like that. Um, for a first boss, this is like, okay, fine, it was a little easy, but it's the first boss. The following bosses, um, they are a little harder, and I like that, but as you notice in that boss, he shot a laser, and then he shot the item that I used to hurt him back. So it was a very quick um, process of hitting him. Other bosses, they have multiple attack waves before you can hit before you can do whatever it is to hit them and so it's frustrating to me that this is a one hit and you're dead game so for the bosses to go on so long um is irritating to me at least because you die in one hit that's fine but for the bosses to take so long in between waves, you die from one hit on like the second wave and you gotta wait like, I don't know. Even if it's like two minutes, two minutes is a long time when you're redoing something you've already done. So that's just like a nitpick in boss design. I think could be better. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the game. I guess I don't wanna show off too much um, as you can see, oh, there were like 80 something levels. Wow, I can't hold the button down, I have to nudge it every time. So yeah, uh, wow, I went through like a bunch of levels there. So yeah, that's the game. I think it's good. I just think it could be improved in those places that I mentioned. Wow, keeps going. This is one of those than I thought. So yeah, uh, there is only one save file, but there is level select, so you don't need multiple save files. Um, here's some options that you can look at. Um, you may have noticed some screen tearing in the game video. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of that. I think it is just a common problem everyone has. There is no like V-Sync on or off option. I haven't tried messing with like quality or anything too much. So, um, ooh, we got a bunch of, okay, well, German, Spanish, and French language options. Speedrun mode, I'm sure this is like, oh, shows my frames per second, and probably will restart me from the very beginning every time I die. I don't know. Or maybe it just has a timer on the screen. I don't want to look at I got a few seconds left. Continue. Yeah, yeah, at the top right there's a timer. So yeah, this is just to help you with speed running. And you can check your frames per second to make sure your system is working well. So yeah, that's the game. I think it is fun. It is a good uh, puzzle platformer. It just thinks that it falls short in a couple bit, couple of, couple, I guess relatively small ways. Um, of course it's short. I think it's also cheap if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, I definitely, I guess I would recommend it. Um, just keep in mind those little bits of uh, problems I have with it. Uh, if you think this review is helpful, please give the video a like. I think there's something I could do better. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.